Now it's back to school for a lesson in the production work that goes on behind the scenes at Grange Hill. Hi, and welcome to the outside of the most famous comprehensive school in the world, Grange Hill. But if you think this looks like an office block and not a school, then you're not wrong, because that's what it is. It's the outside of the BBC Production Centre at Elstree. And we use this as the entrance to Grange Hill when we're filming the outside stuff. And the playground, it's just a car park. It's right in the corner. And these ain't real school gates. They're just part of the scenery. Here, yeah, I hope I ain't spoiling it for you. We do use a real school sometimes. For assemblies, gym scenes, stuff like that. But most of our corridors and classrooms are make-believe. Like the school gates. It's all done over there in the Grange Hill studio. I'll show you that later. The first thing I'm going to do is take you back to April. When the actors started working on the new series. Series 11. It all started up there. In the Grange Hill rehearsal rooms. John. This is the first thing we do. We get round in a circle and read the new scripts through. See how it sounds. Me and me old sixth form mates won't be in the new series, but there'll still be plenty of faces you recognise. Ziggy and Robbie, for starters. Me dad's job, he came home last night, reckons you might be getting the old elbow, you know? Well, if you're on a dole, at least life's a bit cheaper up there. Oh, that bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. But don't tell anyone yet, will you? All right. But there's some new young actors you won't have seen before. They may be feeling a bit nervous now, but my guess is they're really chuffed. They've landed a main part in Grange Hill. Did you ever think you'd be on Grange Hill? Never. <laughs> Never. Never even dreamed of it. I was getting queued up for dinner and my mum came into the school and I said, well, what's wrong, mum? And she says, oh, Sean, you got the part. And at first I didn't believe her, but then she told me again and I was just, I couldn't believe it. I was really, really happy. There was only six parts going. Hundreds and hundreds of kids were auditioned from all over London. The final auditions were held here at Elstree. You had to learn three pieces and act them out in front of the Grange Hill bosses. Where'd you get them earrings? Mm, they were the present. <laughs> I'd learnt the script. Where from? They look really expensive. And I had to act it out. What? I was so nervous. Sorry, my year. You got a boyfriend. That's Phil Redmond on the right, no, who thinks up Grange Hill. Right? And on the left Nothing is Anthony Minghella, the script editor. One. And Lee Jackson, the other script editor. One brother, Mark. Ronald Smedley, the producer, who's reading all the other parts. And Albert Barber, one of the directors. One of the filth, a copper. Thank you very much, Rachel. Okay? Yeah. Thanks very much, love. Do you want the paper or um, shall I throw it in the bin? Throw it in the bin if you no, want. I'll throw it in the I bin. don't really need it. No, okay. <laughs> so you married? No, I knew of custody. What for? Burglary. Oh, I'm sorry. Tragic. I was a bit shy because I didn't, I wasn't very sure of who the, all the people were. And at that time I didn't know who Phil, Phil Redmond was. All that time I was, my mum was blank while I was thinking of was the script and what I was going to get it right or not. I doubt it. Just left, Just left me to carry on the family business single-handed. Don't you ever want to see your mother? No way. The bloke she went off with was one of the filth, you know, a copper. Just while we're getting ourselves sorted out... Now the read for is finished. And then can I have a word with John Orford, Steve West, John Drummond and Jonathan Lambert? I know it'll be exciting for a bit, but it'll soon get boring, but make sure you don't run around get under people's feet. You see, you come to a place which isn't like a school. It's a busy place where people are working. So you have to behave like adults, which is a bit hard when you're only 10. Okay? So you've got to stay with somebody the whole time, either with June or with Maureen, whoever's with you. You have to go with the chaperones everywhere you go. Like, you mustn't go anywhere without the chaperones in case you get hurt or something goes wrong. My mum's one of the chaperones. The chaperones have to look after all the actors who are under 16 all the time. It's the law. 
it's a difficult situation for the kids once they get older. You're nearly 16 now, aren't you? Yeah. But you still have to be chaperoned. I know. I know it's, it's tedious because you're nearly 16. But I'm, I'm going to ask you to be very cooperative and set a terrific example to the little ones. All right, because we'll have a lot of under 12s this year, so there's going to be a lot on your shoulders. Yeah. Okay, then? Okay. And you're all going to do this football? You're not doing football. You're going to do nothing about it. We rehearse two episodes a week in this room. Afternoons only, because the kids go to school in the mornings. The sets we're going to use are marked out on the floor by coloured tape. And poles like these, they used to stand in for doors and things like that. Now, let me just explain. You're, you're on the stairs now, right? You're coming down from the highest level. You go round this corner here and onto these stairs that are marked on the ground. Okay, when you get to the bottom of those, you go round another corner. As you go round this corner... I smash the fire alarm. You smash the fire alarm, which is on this wall here. They've had their script for a couple of weeks before they, they come in here, and some of them have begun to learn their script. So they know the words, but they don't know where they're going to move or where they're sitting as they're saying those words. Thank you. Uh, Steady on, Vince. Look where you're going. So do you know anything about America? Which part? Which parts are there? States, Vince. States. Vince and Trev go down the stairs. Vince knocks against a pole that's going to mark where a fire alarm will be in the studio. Vince! And this there. is what the scene will look like in the final programme. Vince, look where you're going. So, do you know anything about America? Which part? Which parts are there? Not parts. States, you idiot. You'll be in a state you don't concentrate, Trevor. Yeah. Look out! Vince! Their attitude in rehearsals is very professional. I mean, most of them know their lines, and uh, and they bring an enormous amount of energy, which is can sometimes be lucky in adult actors. Come on, <laughs> Mr. Rockford, that's just oh. disgusting behaviour. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. And Vince. Oh, no, we ain't got Vince. Yeah. Can't do oh, no, not Vince. Vince. <laughs> Oliver, we're missing bins. Right, okay. I'll be waiting for him. Let's just do positions. Ziggy, Ziggy and Trev here. Okay. Ziggy there. Trev there. Good. Robbie here. And Vince here. Okay. Hello, Steve. Hello, Steve. Steve, you're next to John. Hello, mate. Okay, okay. Savage. And again, John, please, from the top. You know what, Diff, smash the alarm, don't you? Old Dodo Daly, Mr. US of A. Savage. In an emergency, break glass. Yeah, did you feel a ringing in your ears, did you, Mr. Savage? <laughs> the bells! The bells! Well, you're moaning about fever. At least we're missing double French. Ooh. Well, Mrs. Donington. <laughs> right, OK. Am I doing it in a Quasimodo? Yeah, why am I not? Yeah. I'll be able to read the script. Do, do you know what a Quasimodo impression is? Yeah. The bell! No, look at the camera away from me. <laughs> this is a liberty, this is. What's your mum do? She works in a DIY shop. I've got a really boring family. What's your mum do? The bloke. Mm, she met some geezer. She met some geezer the last time my dad was banged up. In hospital, do you mean? No. Prison. I think the, okay. the new children, the younger children, are doing very well indeed. They're still working out their characters. Their characters are new to them. Some of the, some of the older children have been playing those parts for three years, four years, whatever, and they know their characters inside out. The younger children are still finding their characters. Then at the end of the week, on Friday afternoon, you run through both episodes for the producer. It's called a producer's run. It's where you go through the two episodes you've been doing that week. It's on, always on a Friday. It's where the producer and director and script editors and everyone who's in it have to be there and we just go through everything once, the whole two episodes, just like we were acting out on telly.